Most Canva users barely scratch the surface when it comes to using color, and that's why their designs look flat. In this tutorial, I'll show you every hidden color tool and hack inside Canva so you can create stunning and professional looking designs that pop. Let's dive in. Once you start designing with Canva, you will quickly realize that your best friend when it comes to working with colors is the color panel. For example, if you want to change the background color of any design, simply click on the page. On the toolbar, you will see a gradient button labeled background color. Clicking this opens the color panel. It has several sections, so let me go over them to explain them. First, we have document colors. This section shows you every color used across all pages in your document. Initially, it may be empty, like the one that you are seeing here on the screen. But after adding elements or templates, it populates with colors. So let me give you an example. On this document, I only have one page and as you can see, it is empty. So that's why we don't have any colors in this section. But what about if I go to the design tab and I add one of these templates? I'm going to add this one by clicking once. And then what happens if I create a new page and let's say that this one do not have any color applied. If I go to background color, you will see that now document colors has a color palette. These are the colors present on this template that I just applied on this document. The second section is the brand kit colors. If you have a brand kit, this section displays your brand colors. Like for example, in here, I have selected this brand kit and these are the color palettes that we have set on this brand. Free accounts have a limited brand kit with up to three colors. The next section is photo colors, which will only be available if you have photos on your document. Let me go back to page one. As you can see in this design, there are no photos and that's why we don't see the photo colors available in the color panel. But let me go to elements and let's add an image. Let me go to photos and from here let's add this one to my design so let me click here and then let me click on the background of this design i'm going to click then on background color and as you can see we have now the section photo colors in this section canva extracts the five dominant colors from each photo and displays them here this feature helps you maintain consistency by allowing you to use colors extracted from your photos in your design so in this case i I have selected the background and if I select one of these colors it will go into the background so if I were to click on this one you can see that by using a color extracted from this photo we are creating a more consistent design and if we add a text box or any other kind of element and then we continue using this color palette the design will still look cohesive and what else do we have here in the color panel let me click on the background to access the color panel and now let's scroll down. The next section is default colors and in here you will see a set of solid colors and also gradients. If you want to apply any of these colors to your design simply click and if you want to add gradients it will be exactly the same process. And something important to mention here is that this set of colors will always be the same. What if you cannot find the color that you need among all of the options that we just saw? Well, you can actually add custom colors manually. And to do so, you are going to open the color panel and then under document colors, you will see a plus icon. This will allow you to add a new color. When you click here, it will open a color spectrum with two sections, a rectangle that allows you to select shades from black to white and various hues. And then we have here a slider to choose the base hue, cycling through reds, purples, blues, greens, and yellows. And in this box, you can input a specific hex code if you know the exact color you want to use. Now, let's say that you have an image or a photo with a color you would like to use on your design, but it is not appearing under photo colors. Let's take this photo as an example. I want to use this purple color in the background of the design. So I'm selecting the background, opening the color panel, and then if I scroll down, you will see that under photo colors, there is no purple in this color 
color selection of this photo. In this case, I'm going all the way up, click on the plus icon to add a new color and then use the color picker. You have to click on this icon to be able to use it and this tool allows you to select any color visible on your screen by moving your cursor over it. Once you see the color you want to use on this color picker, simply click once and that color will be applied to the element or the shape that you have selected. In this case, I had selected the background. Now let me show you one more time how this tool works. Instead of selecting the background, I'm going to add a circular shape. So I'm hitting the key C to add a circle to the design and then opening the color panel. From here, I'm clicking on the plus icon, selecting the color picker and then going over my image to select one of the colors that I want to use. I'm clicking and because I have selected the circle before choosing a color, the color has been applied to the circle. We just learned how to add custom colors to our designs, but what about custom gradients? Let's create a custom gradient to the background of this design. So I'm going to click on the background and then let's go to the color panel. This time we are going again to click on the plus icon to add a new color. You will see that there are two tabs, solid color that this is the one that is selected at the moment. And then we have gradient. You would like to click here to add custom gradients. From here, you will be able to add multiple colors to create your gradients. You can adjust each of the colors of the gradient. So let me show you, for example, here, if I click on this purple, you will see that I have access again to this rectangle, the slider. I can add transparency to the colors on my custom gradient. I can add a specific hex code if I want. And I also have access to the color picker. So let's say that I want to create a custom gradient using the colors in this photo. So I'm going to use this tool to select a light purple color from here. So this one, and then as the second color, I'm going to use another shade of the purple. So this one with more shade. So at the moment I have two different colors, but I could add more to the gradient. At the moment I have three different colors in the gradient, but I have the option to keep adding colors to them. I can also delete them in if I feel these are not necessary, I can reorganize the colors to find different variations of the gradient. And we can also change the style of the gradient to achieve a different effect. So let me first remove this photo to show you how the gradient would look if we change the style. This is the style that is selected by default, but you can choose any of these other styles. And I do suggest that you play around with the order of these colors so you can find find different gradient effects. Now let me go back to this version of the design with the photo in it because I want to show you why it could be interesting to add transparency to your gradients. I'm going to add a shape. I'm going to hit the key R to add a square to my design and then I'm going to apply the same gradient that we used in the background. This time I'm going to customize it by clicking again on this button and I'm going to add transparency to one of these colors. So I'm clicking here and then I'm moving this slider to the left. You can see that we start to see a little bit of the photo behind and I think I'm going to add a little bit of transparency to this color as well. Perfect, something like this. And then what you can do is to make the square big as the page. And as you can see, you are adding kind of like a filter to the photo. And then again, you can continue customizing this gradient. You can continue adding more or less transparency transparency or simply changing the colors or the style to see which one looks better on your design. So here's the before and this is the after. I believe this simple trick can add uniqueness and some personality to your photos or your designs. So that's pretty much how you can use colors in Canva. But you might be wondering, can I change the color of everything I see in Canva? The answer is almost. When you are in the editor and if you want to change the color to any element on your design, you would like to always double check this toolbar. If it has a color button available, then yes, you can change the colors on the element you have selected. Let me give you some quick examples. Here, I'm going to select the background of this design 
sign and then I can see that the color button is available and then from here I can add any of these colors let me show you what happens if we add a shape so let's go to elements and then from here let's add a shape like this one you will see that by having the shape selected I can change the color to it and now that I have a shape here let me show you something else that you can customize on shapes you can actually add a border and change the color to it but how do you do that you're going to click on the button that is next to color the one that says stroke style these buttons will allow us to add a border to our shape so pay attention to the outline of this shape when I click here we will have a stroke around our shape and you will have different styles you will select the one that you prefer in this case I'm going for a continuous line and then down below you will have a slider to make your outline thicker or thinner now if you want to change the color of this outline you're gonna click on this button stroke color and this option won't be available if you don't have a border so let me delete this border just for a second so you can see that if you don't have a stroke this option will be gone so I'm removing the border the option is gone but then when I add a stroke to my shape this option will appear so I'm clicking here and you can see that we now have the option to change the color of the outline and you can add borders to other elements too like for example here I'm doing it with a frame and then I can add a photo to it or you can also apply directly a border to a photo or a video coming back to the question can I change the color of everything I see in Canva well you can also change the color to graphics and stickers but not all of them here I have these two elements that I found in the graphic library in Canva these two are pretty similar but pay attention when I click on one of these elements I have the option to change all of the colors in this element that means that if I want to change the colors of this banana let's say that I want to make it blue I can simply change the colors from here and that will be it but for this one I won't be able to change the colors from here there are some other ways to change the color on this element but I will show it to you in a minute now let me show you how to change the colors on your stickers if you go to elements and then go to graphics find the sticker section and click see all from here you will find a similar experience some of the stickers you won't be able to change the color to like for example this one the color option is not available but then if I were to select an element like this one you will see that I actually can change the color of this animated element so let me go here I can click on these colors and customize this animation so it has our branded colors at the moment there is no way to filter the graphics or the stickers that you can customize the colors to so you will need to bring your elements to the design and then pay attention to the toolbar to see if the color option is available now let me show you a pretty new feature in canva that will save you lots of time did you know that you can also change the colors on photos let me take this photo as an example when i click on the photo you will see that we have three different color options i'm gonna click on the green one and see what happens when i change the green for a purple color pretty cool right and let me show you a couple of colors more this is why i suggest you always pay attention to the toolbar and see if there is a color option available in here and also keep an eye to see if there is another button next to the color button this might give you more color options like in this case the strokes and before we move on to the next part of this lesson i just want to show you that you can also add gradients to the strokes in this case I applied a solid color but if you pay attention under default colors we also have access to gradients so if you prefer and if you want to add something different to your design you can add a gradient to your design instead now let me show you something else I'm gonna add a page in here and this time I'm going to add a sheet and a table just to show you a couple of tools more that you may see next to the color button in this case when I click on any of the cells you will see that we have the color option and then next to the color button we see border when you click here you will have access to the border color that's why you should pay attention to the other buttons next to the color button when you click here you will be able to change the color of the border of this cell so let me show you I have changed the color of this border and I believe it's very thin so let's make it a little bit thicker so you can see it better 
here you go and then from here if you want to change the color in the cells you will need to select this option the one that says color so let me give you an example i'm gonna make it pink and then let me again select the whole sheet go to border and then this time let's make the border pink i'm gonna play around with the border width and there you go and it will work exactly the same with tables. You will select the tables that you would like to change the color to. You will be able to change it from here. So let's make it orange. And then you will be able to change the border color from here. Now, I want to show you a hack. If you remember, there are some elements that we can change the color to and some others won't allow us to do so. Well, there is actually something that you can do in this case. So let me show you. If a graphic doesn't allow color changes, you can select the element, go to edit, and then select the duo tone effect. And then from here, you can select any of these presets that you have in here. So you can make your banana blue if you want by selecting this option. You have some other shades of blue. Or if you want to customize the colors on this duo tone effect, you can click on custom and then you can add your colors from here. I believe this hack will work mostly with elements that have a couple of colors as you'll be able to select just two colors with this feature. Let me show you, for example, this other banana element when you select this element and then go to edit duo tone from here you will see that if you select any of the options below you will have just two colors applied on your banana and then if you go to custom again you will only be able to change the highlights and the shadows Learn everything you need to know about Canva with our Canva Master Course. I'm linking it in here on the screen and also in the description. And subscribe to our channel. In the next video, I'm going to show you some cool hacks so you can create the perfect color palettes for your next designs. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!